welcome to the final episode of Dear Die. I've had such a wonderful time vlogging with all of you. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, this episode, since it's the final one, is going to be a little bit about advice. I've gone around the theater. There's some surprises in there too. I hope you enjoy. Yay! Hello, Be nice. Be the type of co-worker you would want to have. Keep your trap shut backstage and don't be late. Period. If you want a day off, bribe your stage manager. Green tea Kit Kat? I'd love one, thanks. <laughs> Vacation approved. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Team Chris, Dean, support each other. <laughs> Mia says, adopt, don't shop. Eat lots of vegetables and drink lots of water to feel good. <laughs> hey guys, my advice is this. People will always tell you that you, you only have one chance to make it in, in anything, uh, but especially in theater, it's not true. You have many opportunities and uh, for that one big chance in your career. It actually, you have many chances. And <laughs> yeah. And so uh, just keep at it. That's what I would say. If you want to do it, keep going. Silence! <laughs> I couldn't resist. Your hand at the level of your eyes. At the level of your eyes. At the level of your eyes. Your eyes. Ken, do you have any advice for me for this yeah. evening's performance? It's something, it's something that a college professor once said to me in a scene. He, we finished doing it, he looked at me and said, it's not very good. I said, well, what can we do? And he said, act it better. That would be my advice. So my advice is, contrary to popular belief, faster, funnier, and louder is not the best way to get a job on Broadway. Keep calm and carry a big stick. Rehearsals. Always rehearsals. Advice? Here's advice. Prerequisites, be born into riches, for one. Second, be yourself. After you're born into riches, frankly, all you have to do is just be natural. For instance, I threw a party, I designed the theme of the party, say, off the top of my head, masquerade, and yet, I show up not in a mask. I come with something out of my closet, this is my naval uniform. That's a power move. Mattering child, you shall know me. See why in shadow why I hide. Look at your face in the mirror. I am there Christine. After her father died three years ago, she started taking voice lessons from a creepy voice in her dressing room. She's about to follow that voice to his dungeon under the Paris Opera House. This fate could have been avoided if she had a sassy mama. I am your angel of music. Come to me, angel of music. What are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? My father sent me the angel of music. Angel? That's a man with a creepy mask covering half his face. And any man that wears a mask only has one thing that he wants and has secrets. Also, has he been back there the entire time? Oh? Watching you change? Look at your life choices. Look at you. You're smart, you have a somewhat so-so face. Uh, come with Mama, she'll provide. Hmm. I was your angel of music. Hey, Leon. No, no, I'm not saying, I'm not. Do you have I'm, any advice? 
for, you know, no, aspiring know. hairdressers or aspiring Christines? Is there anything no, that you I like your Christines to do? What about what about the the Leonators? Do the do you have anything that you'd like to tell the the, the Leonators? <laughs> no. <laughs> run, Leon, run! <laughs> <laughs> Leon, run! Run! <laughs> Ciao, io sono Carlotta Giudicelli, and I play Carlotta Giudicelli in Phantom of the Opera. So my advice to you is. Uh, do not be a mean diva, do not throw tantrums because they will replace you by Christina and uh, times have changed so it's much better to be very nice, respect your colleagues and uh, we all have fun, okay? Ciao! Alright, so for all you tenors out there, find a good soprano to sing alongside. Tenors always look better next to sopranos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got your mask on today. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's a clown, it's a clown. <laughs> you knew you were going to do this? You knew that she was going to be filming this? <laughs> Give him a hug, Leon. Give him a hug. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the spell is broken. Oh, the spell is broken. <laughs> Hi, Monkey. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, I thought we'd do some questions again, and the same as before. Uh, one simple clap for yes, and two, two for no. Um, first question. Um, are you excited for King Kong to come to Broadway? Oh, me too. Um, second question. Oh, did you get to audition to play Abu in Aladdin on Broadway? Would have been really good. Uh, third question: Can you do your best Rafiki from the Lion King impression for me? The question is: Who are you? <laughs> Yay! So for our final present to all of you, um, I played Cosette in Les Mis on tour and on Broadway, and I happen to think that my two amazing leading men would be amazing in that show. So we got to thinking. A heart full of love. She was never mine to be. A heart full of you. I regret when can I knew. I knew it too. These are words she'll never say. Not to me. From today. Not to me. Not to Every me. Every day, for it is a That's it from here. Um, I want to thank everybody at Broadway.com for making this vlog happen and everybody here at the Majestic, the cast and crew for being so game to play along with all of my ridiculous antics. Um, some of them you didn't even get to see but they were an integral part of making Dear Die happen. Um, and my advice to you guys is this, be kind both to other people and to yourselves um, and as much as you can just be yourselves. I know it sounds cheesy and you probably hear it all the time, um, but I really believe that we all have something unique to bring to the table, both as performers and as people, and I think the more we can embrace that, um, the less we have to feel like we're constantly comparing ourselves to other people or competing with them. Um, I totally fall into that trap all the time, completely guilty, um, but I think there's an amazing freedom in embracing what makes you unique and makes you who you are, and I think there's a great strength that comes with that. So, you guys try, 
I'll try to. And I can't wait to see what you all do. Thank you all so much for watching this, for being a part of it. And I'm sending you lots of love.